Carter has to say about what neighborhood councils are supposed to do. It's about monitoring of city services, it's about outreach, it's about preparing uh, a, a list of priorities for the city budget, it's about promoting citizen participation, and it's about making government more responsive. And I think that every single activity that neighborhood councils do has to relate back to this section of the chart. So for example, money has gotten spent on a whole variety of wonderful community projects. They're great, and in fact, they can leverage the money that is used. But that does not mean that they are what is set out in the charter. And to go to the city council, to go to the budget and finance committee and say, well, we need this, we like this, we want this, forget those words. Take them out of the vocabulary. The issue is what are we obligated to do as neighborhood councils by the charter, and what is the city council obligated to do to provide us for the resources in order to accomplish that. So it's not about wanting money so that we can do some nice garden or so that we can have a nice community project. It is about, again, going back to the charter very, very specifically. And it's also not about we like these things so that we can function better, but it's that we are entitled to these things in order to do the obligation that is set out for us and the obligation that is set out for the city council and for Dunn clearly in the charter. And I would urge everybody here to go downtown to the Budget and Finance Committee, to go downtown to uh, one of these council meetings and to talk about not just what we want, not just what we'd like, but what we are required to do and how the council, by law, is going to be bound to work with us within the confines of the city charter. If we do that, I think that we will be very, very successful. We have three